In this video I will show how to convert the DL24 load from 180 watt 20 amp to 600 watt 40 amps with the Noctua DH15 fan. In addition we will characterize the Noctua DH15 fan up to 600 watts. No. I received this fan for free from Noctua because I told I wanted to have a torture test for the Noctua DH15 and uh, up to 600 watt. They sent me free of charge and I was very impressed by the open mind. I selected a strong MOSFET which should be able to dissipate 450 watt with a neat sink temperature of 60 degrees. So with two of them I should be able to dissipate 600 watt and also be able to withstand some mismatch on the power distribution. I measured the VGS threshold of four MOSFETs and I selected the two more close to each other. This is the final result. We have the two MOSFET, then we have uh, replaced also the diode with a big 100 amp, 100 volt diode because we are going up to 40 amp. Then we placed some serious resistors at the source of each MOSFET in order to equalize better the current. And then a small multi-turn trimmer in order to adjust the gate voltage of the two MOSFET and to give more balance. Then you need to change also the two shunt resistors. I placed two by four milliohm in order to be able to dissipate the power at 40 amps. Then you need to calibrate the current reading. So you go in the menu for the calibration. Now it's looking for 3 amp, you will provide 6 amps. So you will have half of the current reading and so the current protection will be doubled. Six amp. Okay, now it's calibrated at three amp. <laughs> like he thinks it is three amp, there are six amps. So you will have uh, uh, enabled double current on this uh, on this load. Now let's calibrate in order to have half of the voltage reading. Is expecting 30 volt, I will apply 60 volts. 60 volts at the input and I will set like this. Now he thinks that 60 volt are 30 volt. Then I place the thermocouple at the heatsink in order to check the temperature of the cold plate and some insulation material in order to have a better temperature reading. And finally the testing. We have at the MOSFET 31 volt by 16 amp, 496 watts at the heat sink. And with this power, we have a cold plate temperature of 45 degrees. There may be some error on the measurement, but not so much. And the current balance is perfect because you see with 16 amp at the input, we have eight amp on one MOSFET and so other eight on the other MOSFET. If we increase the power, instead we will see that uh, we will start to have a current drift because probably the temperature, sorry, the power is so high that it's easy to have a thermal runaway. So I recommend this setup up to 500, 550 watt. If you go to 600 watt, you start already to see some unbalance on the current. And here is a short 40 amp test at 12 volt. And you can see you have half voltage reading and half current reading from the load. So you can have up to four times the maximum power. In summary, the DL24 is now able to dissipate 600 watts. The modification is quite complex. I do not recommend it too much, honestly. The Noctua D15, it's an amazing cooler and you can have 50 degrees at the cold plate with 585 watts dissipated. That's all for today.